Hello and welcome to the DSP Project, your fix of music production and technology. I'm your host Rupert Brown and in this episode we're going to be answering a viewer submitted question. I'm going to paraphrase here but it comes from David Rose and David basically wants to have multiple synths in one MIDI channel so he can play them and use his APC40 to switch between different synths. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. This is not an APC40 specific tutorial. Uh, you could use a Launchpad or Kuno or other sort of launch grid type controller would be good for it or I mean you could just manually assign it to clip so you could really use this with with any MIDI controller it's more of a more of an Ableton tutorial uh, quick note as most of you already know but uh, giving away a TC Studio Connect 48 Firewire audio interface absolutely wicked wicked audio interface if you want to know more about it head down to the dspproject.com slash win you can find out uh, get the full review which I did quite in depth and then also how to enter and uh, go on the draw to win that also quick bit of gear porn for you I have just got my um, Millennia NS EQ analog EQ came in it is a absolutely beautiful mastering EQ and it's however this one has had the the Fred Forcell modification to it so it's basically had the already awesome guts taken out of it and had even better guts put in so it's um, it's really quite a special a special EQ that I'm using for my mastering work if you are interested in any mastering work head down to dspmastering.com I'd love to hear from you if you're interested in getting me to to work with you so now that that's all out of the way let's jump into this tutorial here we have a blank set with a single MIDI channel. I'm going to open the I.O. page here and select monitor to in. So the MIDI notes that are being hit come in. You can see them jumping up and down here. If I wanted to take MIDI from a specific MIDI controller, if I had multiple ones, I could select it here. But I'm just going to select all ins for this demonstration. Now I'm going to add uh, some simpler instruments. Select one, uh, highlight it, push command G to group it, open up the chain here. And I'm going to basically just drag in some more presets but this could be uh, you could use any third par party plugin or, or any instrument to do this with that's use for so now if I play them we should hear all four at the same time it's actually quite cool but well that's not what we want we want to play uh, each one of these individually so if we were going to do this with a knob to turn um, then I would recommend using the the chain selector uh, if you want an explanation of how to do that see my uh, audio effects rack uh, video where I talk about the chain selector in one of those videos which will explain that but for for what we want to do with dummy clips I think the the easier way is to actually use the macro control so I'm going to select mini map and I'm just going to highlight the the device on and off and I'm going to map the device on and off to each one of these macro knobs and that's all my mapping done and I'm going to rename these because we like to keep organized and things can get uh, very confusing very fast if we don't uh, get into good habits so uh, command R to rename works on just about anything on live one more synth 4 okay so there we go um, you might want to use if you've had specific synths for specific songs or something you could you could use them there um, so now let's add in a MIDI clip so what I want to do is I actually want to set the the envelope um, so for this first one we want to turn the the first uh, envelope on so we're going to select the instrument rack and we can see our macro knobs here one two three and four for synth one we want it to be on which it is and then so for synth two we want it to be off synth three we want to be off and synth four we want to be off this only needs to be passed halfway but we'll bring it to zero uh, or one one other thing to note is it works the envelopes work inside of the range that you have set on the knob so basically we have to have these set to full and then our envelopes can work within the full 127 parts so now I'm going to select that clip duplicate it four times coming back to the envelope section here um, now we're going to go for this is the second clip so we want the synth 1 to be off and we want the synth 2 to be on we want the uh, oh, we want for the now select the next clip we want synth one to be off and synth three to be on come on now see and finally select the fourth clip here 
we want to select synth one, we want that to be off, and synth four, we want that to be on. Now, one final thing we want to set on here is the using the launch controls, this little L down the bottom here, is turn the quantization off. If this was set to global, um, then it would follow what we've got up here, which is currently one bar, which means it would wait till the beginning of the next bar before it launches, um, but we want it to set it to none so it instantly swaps between each one. So now if we come back here and watch the, uh, the levels of the little device on and off here, if we select uh, I want to turn the record off because otherwise it would record the MIDI notes. Uh, if we select this first one here, first one. So there you have it. Each you can easily swap between any uh, instrument using your uh, grid based controller. So there you have it David, hopefully that makes a bit more sense. If you have any questions, if any of you have more questions, feel free to leave a comment underneath this video. I'll also leave a link to the chain selector video I did. I'm pretty sure that was for an audio effects rack, but it works basically the same. So if you'd rather have a, a knob to switch between your different MIDI instruments, then that's uh, that's probably the best way to, to tackle that. Um, if you would like samples, head down to the dspproject.com forward slash samples, and we've got our own storefront there. You can go in and uh, get a, sort of a variety of of all sorts of different stuff from electronic stuff, drum and bass stuff to cinematic type things. There's a, there's a whole gamut of samples there for you to choose from. Um, also dspproject.com slash win if you want to win the audio interface and DSP mastering for my mastering services. That has been this episode of the DSP Project. I'll see you next time.